Hello everyone, we are in the Tachikaze event for Vanguard Zero, so I've done everything in 3 star, and a lot of people ask me this, which one is the best one to go for, and the 8 gives you the highest percentage chance of getting as much material to open the packs with, so always go for the 8, it's not worth going for the 5s. So. The 8 gives you 10, 20, and 40 keys. Um, the keys can be anything, you know, sometimes it's a different item. So, the 8 is 10, 20, and 40. I'm trying to remember what the other ones are. The 5 is 4, 8, and 16. The 6 is, I think, 5, 10, 20. So, basically, in terms of percentage, you get more for spending 8 tickets than you do for spending 5 tickets. So if you spend 800 tickets on both minus 5 and minus 8, you would have more materials after using the minus 8s than you would with minus 5s. Um, I would have shown you this, but I already completed it today, so that's unfortunate. Um, the best thing to use for that is Dark Regulars. In fact, um, I will show you my Dark Regular list. No, I won't, apparently. I'll show you afterwards. Right, let's open some packs, shall we? Um, so it is this one, it's the brand new one. Let's just take a look at the gacha details before we actually go into it. There you are, there's two triple rares, four double rares, four rares and six commons. So, that is what we're after. We want four of each of these guys. Um, when this unit attacks, Tower 3 rearguards to get plus 10,000, plus 1 crit to win the battle. Um, in addition, draw a card and call an Ancient Dragon Baby Rex. Hmm. I'm not sure what Baby Rex is. I'll need to look that up. And the other one is the Spinal Driver, which is the Break Ride, which is when rode upon, your Vanguard gets plus 10,000, plus 1 crit. Retire two of your rearguards and draw cards equal to the number of cards retired. So that also lets you get off uh, retire skills. So, they're both very, very good. So, let's go into it. We'll just straight up get 10 packs. See what we pull. Oh, that's what I like to see. I like to see the triple rare animation. Maybe I guarantee the triple rare. Okay, all of this is all new to me, so we're just going to have to take a look at some of this once we've opened everything. Oh, there we go. We got the, um, not the break ride, the other one. The thing that summons the baby X. Oh, there's our first double drill as well. I think he's an ancient dragon as well. Ancient dragon is the new thing. Oh, there's another. Cool, so we've got two of the double rares. Hmm. There's a perfect guard. Wow. So that's three of the super rares already. Oh, that's one of each of the super rares. So, or double rares even. Um, I also play you. Super rare, double rare, pretty much the same thing. Rarity that comes above rare. Wow. A lot of double rares this time. Which is good because you probably want a place out of all of them. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So, Tyranno Legend, that was his name. So, what is this? It's just a. It's just a grade 0 with 5000 attack. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, at least it does call a card. The perfect guard is obviously the one that stops you, only activates if you're going to get killed, which is very nice, which allows you to hit that limp break 4 easier. Uh, this is the 9k that goes to 12k if you've got an ancient dragon vanguard. When it attacks, um, hits, unflip, 
that's good. Um, a lot more of the decks are getting this unflip uh, unit, and it's really required because um, it just helps so much with resource management. And you are the other grade three, so Carblast one retire an ancient dragon, which is fine. The majority of your decks will be ancient dragon. To have two of your guards get plus five thousand till the end of the turn. That's not very good. When this unit attacks a vanguard, retire one of your rear guards to get plus 5,000 till the end of the battle. Neither of those effects are very good. Unless there's something amazing to get some amazing effect from being retired. So that's just a 10k Ancient Dragon. When you're just retired, um, if your vanguard is Ancient Dragon, can't last one to call this card. From where? From your hand? From the drop zone? From your deck? To call this card from where? I mean, surely it's not an on-field activation effect. That doesn't make any sense. When a unit is retired during your turn, if your vanguard is ancient dragon, can't want to call this card? From... From anywhere? From my opponent's deck? From the person playing, like, three tables down from me? Do you mean Carlos wants to call this card? What the hell does that mean? God, that's stupid. Hmm. Uh, when is he getting attacked? Carlos wants to get plus 2,000. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Um, but as an ancient dragon, so might need to get played. Uh, front row, if you're an ancient dragon, uh, it gets plus 2,000. These are good. I like these guys. A lot of people don't like them. I think it's good. I think it's just nice to have a 7k grade 1 that goes to 10k and can take out the opponent's grade 2 rear guards without being boosted just from having the archetype so uh, yeah I, I like those uh, let's see here battle decks oh jeez um, you line break 4 when your drive track reels grade 3 tie one of your rear guards and this one you get plus 10,000 when boosted it gets plus 3,000 mmm let's hope we don't have to use that because that's not very good savage hunter this unit attacks the guard gets plus 5,000. Oh, and rear guard gets plus 2,000. Okay, those are okay. Unfortunately, it's not a ancient dragon. So I probably won't see any, any use. Okay. Um, Dino crowd. When this unit attacks, retire one of your other ancient dragon rear guards to get plus 5,000 till the end of the turn. It would be weird if it retired itself when it's attacking to give itself plus 5,000. So it's a good thing that it states one of your other ancient dragons. Hmm. During your turn, if you will, Lumbrate 4, it gets plus 3. Oh, those things are crap. Are you ancient dragon? No, you're not. You're savage. Okay, that's fine. Don't need to play. Uh, when this unit attacks, retire one of your ancient dragons to get plus 5,000. When it attacks? And it's a grade 1? Hmm. That sounds kind of crap. When this unit boosts a Lumbrate 4, it gets plus 1,000. Wow! There's an awful lot of that that isn't very good. Hmm. What did you do again? Yeah, call this card. Yeah, oh my god. You're right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, tell you what, let's, uh, let's use these next four, shall we? Let's see what we can get from this. Call this card. Wonderful. Oh, double rare at least. That's nice to see. Some nice tin cave elements. There we go. Ooh! That's pretty cool. That's the um, that's the crap grade 3 and the 9k that goes 12k. Okay. Last one? No. Oh, that was almost entirely useless. <laughs> Let's see here. What do you do? Uh, oh, can't last one to get trusty. Oh, no, that's not very good. Th these are good. Yeah, I do like those. Um, no, you're, you're not very good. Um, the thing is, this doesn't even activate in Rearguard Circle. This is only Vanguard Circle. Which is... Pretty dire. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you all enjoyed, and we shall see you next time.